Dingman had a look, decides to give it away. Now Dingman, full head of steam. Brooks. Seals broken. Creighton on the board. Is true. And he has been playing terrific. Averaging 20 points per game in the last three games. Has made 16 threes as Martino with a little pick and roll to the rim. Shooter spaced out on the right into your hip and draw the contact. Kept and shoot on the inbounds. Bucket good as they get it to fall. In transition, Crack low. Coming off, playing way off Devin Brooks, South Dakota. They're going under ball screens. Got to find a way to combat that. This is Chapman with the ball now. Kobe Hector back in the game. This is Zierden, his first three-pointer. It's an eight. This is the pace that Creighton wants, but it's not converted. Brooks inside. Good use of the dribble. That's Five that. points now for Brooks. That's that Harlem, New York right there. <laughs> That's that Steve Smith move. Steve Smith, remember him with the Atlanta Hawks? He used to always go base. Brazil left his shot inside. Chapman. A contest, no whistle. That's been consistent all game long. Milliken. Big shot. You see James Milliken going to be the beneficiary of Austin Chapman grabbing his own miss, falling out of bounds, sprays it out. Best time to shoot a three is off of any sort of broken floor offensive rebound situation because no one's attached to their man. And Milliken with a big, brilliant offensive mind. He comes with ideas for the coaching staff in games that they use off. Milliken! It'll stay with South Dakota. But when you knock down a three, People are going to have out of control closeout. In the first half, looked like he may have banged something. Let's see if he's 100%. Inside, Hanson. He was really quiet in the first half. Make some noise here. He's the Gatorade player, the youth senior leader. He's got to put his fingerprints on this game. Extra pass to Dingman. Big shot. That almost had to go. He was wide open. Or take the lead for the Blue Jays. Half dubbing in. Beautiful. Bit of finesse, Will Artie. Milliken got in deep and finishes. What a lift from the junior college transfer. Milliken actually brought in to fill in for Grant Gibbs last year, but Gibbs got the sixth year of eligibility. Milliken sat and worked. Now South Dakota's going under a lot of these ball screens. That's just keeping the ball contained right in front. Good pass. Creclo and Artino finishes. Six points now. He get it to fall. Numbers right now for the Blue Jays. Five on four. Open look, Milliken. Dakota forced to call timeout. James Milliken has given the Blue Jays a Dingman. Half coming in. Bonus points for Creighton Grozel. By the good vibes picked up by the Blue Jays on Sunday in Lincoln. Dingman steered an extra pass. Chapman. Yes, well, that's great basket center, Omaha. 16,000 and change shoehorned into this building. Up and in, Milliken continues to shine. Come in and you got to be ready to fight through it. Milliken earning some late playing time with his play. Pull up. Boy. Fortunate to keep that basketball. Chapman. Eric, that's three straight made pull up jump shots off of on-ball screens and not handling them correctly. Got caught in a switch on the first one and went under the next two. And Creighton made South Dakota pay on all three. Jump here, see if you can't change the complexion of the game slightly. Milliken finds Artino. 
They have to make teams pay for running and double teaming. Look, they get to the middle of the floor. Eric Robertson helps up the floor. Artino flushes it. That's tremendous press breaker execution for the Blue Jays. Get yourself to the free throw line. Change the game. This has been quite the free throw demonstration by Boston Chapman. Okay, here we go. Chapman, all 13 of his points here in the second half. A big free throw. And it is a two-possession game. Someone's going to have to figure something out. South Dakota running out of time. Boss. Larson. Got it! Throw shooter at the line now is Zierk. He is now 27 for 30 on the year, but even if he makes this final free throw, it's a one possession game. Remember, South Dakota, they are powerless to stop the clock. Game's going to end right here. You foul up three. Here we go. 4.7. Larson's got it. Going to have to fire. Larson open. of a cat burglar, Tyler Larson, two cold-blooded threes in the last 10 seconds. It brings up one of the biggest questions that coaches have on their plate every single year. Do you foul up three? Preklo uh -oh. slips, Larson got him. You know what? Four, keep an eye on that. So great, and they start on offense here in the extra five minutes. Chapman, three-pointer. Man, has he been on the tempo of the game, Austin Chapman. Seared it long, three. A great help defense in South Dakota. Chapman. Cleared by the Coyotes, they can take the lead. Oh, he forgot the ball! Larson forgot it! Chapman! A blunder for the Coyotes at a critical juncture. Larson trying to get it back. Norris, are you kidding me? Trey Norris had hit nothing all game long, and he ties it. Coach Max going to let him play here. Shot no clock off. Out. Creighton can call timeout if they want to, but Craig McDermott says no. Let's finish him here. Watch, uh, watch Artino on a rebound. He's been getting a few of them. Chapman, gonna have to go to work. Pull up! And we're gonna go to another overtime. The South Dakota Coyotes, they don't want to go back to Vermillion anytime soon. There's a switch. Milliken. A confident catch it. So look at the, the red jersey sinking into help on the mismatch with Artino. But Milliken. there's a mismatch on the outside, Eric, as Milliken blows in for the switches. Look as Artino goes in the interior as he's working. Look at those red jerseys helping inside. Look at Larson at the Big East logo. Trying to just sink in to help out on the interior on Artino, and Milliken buries it. So one way or the other, it's a pick your poison situation for South Dakota. And then here's the other end of it. Eric Robertson at 6'8", 
Having to guard Milliken on the perimeter. Blow by, right to the baseline, right to the rack. You have to make teams pay for Sweeney. The screen for Dingman. Milliken. Teams are available. Played darn near 50 minutes tonight after playing 37 minutes on Sunday night. Boss. Oh, my. This kid can't play. And another foul in the backcourt to continue to. Get himself open on press breakers, handle the ball. It's a big load of responsibility to be the man, and Chapman has been just that this evening. Five-point lead for Creighton. Top to go to Powerless to stop the clock. Boss, top of the key. Oh, man! Chapman! He's whacked in the face. Oh, my. He lost the handle, but was grazed. Uh oh. No so, timeouts left for to draw anything up. Lead is two for Creighton. It's now three. It's going to be a catch and shoot. Survive. Creighton now 8-2 on the year.